Okay, so this is day 14 of our trip to the Treasure Coast, and uh, right now we are standing at the McCarty uh, Treasure Museum, which is uh, just outside of Sebastian, which uh, which is a pretty, you know, known place too here in Florida. Anyway, this is the site of the 1715, I believe it is, 1715 fleet from Spain that was actually uh, escorted and taking treasures back to Spain, and uh, the ships encountered a hurricane and all sank in this area. It wasn't until later and not too long ago that actually the fleet was found, or part of it was, and this was a staging area that was found uh, where the people that survived the shipwreck, there were 1,500 people on board, uh, came and set up a camp and uh, worked to recover the uh, treasure that had fallen to the bottom of the sea. And uh, there's still treasure to be found out here. In fact, uh, we're going to go inside the Treasure Museum, let you guys take a look a little bit uh, while we're exploring it as well. As you know, I've kind of been hitting the coastline a little bit with my metal detector. Zero finds. I found a quarter, a dime, and a penny yesterday on top of a ton of bottle caps and other things. So the likelihood of me finding anything is like zilch. But after a hurricane, there is known uh, quantities of things that wash up on the uh, shoreline. I don't anticipate sticking around for a hurricane to see that happen. But, you know, there's stuff that gets left behind once in a while and gets found by odd people like myself. So let's go check out the Treasure Museum and see what it has to say. If you don't find anything I have recovered, let's see what others have. Okay, so checking out the museum today, I'll kind of show some footage right now as uh, I'm filming this and I'll let you see it as I'm kind of talking over uh, the images you're seeing. Uh, we just entered the museum and this museum was established to uh, show artifacts and history of the 1715 Spanish fleet that sank off the shores here of Florida's coast uh, by hitting the reefs during a hurricane. All of these ships were carrying uh, thousands of pounds of different treasures that were uh, basically picked up around the world uh, for the Queen of Spain and uh, the royal family there in Spain. Uh, to date, there are millions of dollars that have been recovered uh, off of the bottoms of these oceans right here uh, when the ships were found back starting in the 50s. And uh, Mel Fisher, a famous treasure hunter, was hired on to come and be a part of the uh, quest. And he himself had recovered millions of dollars from the uh, from the wrecks themselves. Um, during hurricanes and other stormy times, maybe even during right now when the seas are, are rough, uh, things are getting washed up on the shoreline and amateur metal detectors such as myself may come across uh, silver uh, or jewels or things that get washed up on the shoreline. Anyway, it's a fascinating history. Uh, there are still millions of dollars to be found right off of the coastline here in Florida. However, searching the water is under contract uh, by the original founder or finder of these uh, lost galleons. There's still two ships unaccounted for and people are looking for them and uh, they remain a mystery. But anyway, here on the Treasure Coast, there's a reason why it's named this, is this sea continues to give up its treasures for those who are lucky enough to find it. Okay, so after the museum, we decided to stop off at Giuseppe's uh, Pizzeria here in Sebastian. And uh, I'm having calzone, and Chantel is having a chicken parmesan sub. Uh, all looks really good. So um, just tasted your sub. It's delicious. Okay, after our lunch today, we decided to come back over here to the Vero Beach area. And it's also an area called um, Orchard Island. And there's some shops and things around here that we saw leaving the other day that we didn't get a chance to visit at. It's more of a, I guess, more of a, a bigger area for parking and enjoying the beach in this area. So we're, we're kind of checking it out right now. Um, so anyway, follow along.
Okay, here's my day 14 wrap up. So we spent a good portion of our day at the Treasure Museum. And man, just watching the video there and seeing the artifacts and seeing some of the things that are located in some of the private possessions of the people that have found it. It's just amazing to see the millions of dollars that have been fetched off the ocean floor from the 1715 fleet of the Spanish Armada that was taking back uh, treasures and stuff to Spain and that there's still so much more to be found. It definitely gets your, your mind thinking, well, where could it be and how could I find it? I did walk away with a metal detecting book from somebody in the area that uh, has, has written a book about it. And so I'll, I'll research a little bit and uh, maybe try to hit the beach a few more times before we leave here. But uh, we're wrapping up our evening. We're here at this private pond and uh, you can catch and release fish here. And so we'll kind of spend the evening doing that a little bit. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, it looks like there's some forecasted rain for most of the day tomorrow. We have to... Um, if I get our truck in, it's uh, brakes are squeaking, and that's one service I didn't do before we left. I did change out the front uh, oil seal, which was an extensive job, my father-in-law and I, before we came to stop an oil leak, and that's been successful, but the brakes are something I didn't get to, and pulling our camper with all the thousands of pounds it weighs, not a safe idea to keep traveling and pulling that behind us. I don't want to put us in a wreck or uh, end up you know, rear-ending somebody else with all that weight, so... Uh, that may be tomorrow's agenda is getting that taken care of and we'll see where it goes from there. So we'll conclude with me fishing a little bit. Maybe we'll catch something out of this pond.